Hello, I'm Darren Jordan in Doha with the headlines here on Al Jazeera. Ukraine's president has told the nation that a Russian invasion may happen this week. His call for a day of unity on Wednesday. Russia has consistently denied any plans to attack its neighbor. We are being threatened by a big war, and the date of a military invasion was scheduled once again. It is not for the first time. A war is being conducted systematically against us on all fronts. On the military front, a military contingent is increased around our borders. On the diplomatic front, they are trying to deprive us of the right to decide foreign policy on our own. On the energy front, they reduce gas, energy and coal supplies. On the information front, they want to disseminate panic among us, among Ukrainian citizens, among investors through media. Meanwhile, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is calling for additional talks with the United States and its allies to address Moscow's security concerns. The White House says the path for diplomacy remains open. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is invoking emergency powers to end protests that have paralyzed parts of the capital and some border crossings with the U.S. Traffic has now resumed on a major crossing in the city of Windsor. The so-called Freedom Convoy began as a protest against a mandate requiring truck drivers to be vaccinated. The police will be given more tools to restore order in places where public assemblies can constitute illegal and dangerous activities, such as blockades and occupations, as seen in Ottawa, the Ambassador Bridge, and elsewhere. These tools include strengthening their ability to impose fines or imprisonment. The government will designate secure and protect places and infrastructure that are critical to our economy and people's jobs, including border crossings and airports. A Palestinian teenager who was shot dead by Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank has been buried. Eleven others were injured when troops opened fire on people protesting against the demolition of a home in Janine. It belonged to a Palestinian prisoner accused of killing an Israeli settler in December. Activists have condemned such demolitions as a form of collective punishment.